going on guys? So as you saw in the last video of rebuilding the 2011 GTCS, we dropped the Coyote motor out of here and we have some fixing to do because we saw a little peekaboo action from the rods on the side of the uh, motor. So we're going to get this stripped down, down to the block. We got our Gen 2 short block over there and Zach is here to help us just get this thing stripped. Um, we obviously got to get the harness, um, get all the accessories off, timing cover, valve covers, heads, exhaust manifolds maybe, all that stuff. We're going to get it stripped off, so let's do it. I have shoes on today, Woo! and Nick oh. is picking up the sandals. Whoa, Nick. Dude, YouTube's going to eat you alive. How unsafe that is. Oh, Every time I come to the shop, Dangerous I'm in sandals, my dude. <laughs> Why isn't that cylinder moving? But wait, there's more. Why isn't that cylinder moving? That's so crazy that the same exact <laughs> cylinder yeah. on each bank that is just dumb. busted. That is some shit, man. Yeah. We did it. We disassembled the hell out of this we, thing. Uh, yeah, we stripped her down, showed her who's boss. Yeah, so the, so the only issues that we really seen was actually the, the head that we weren't concerned about. So if you look in here, let me see if I can show you guys. You can actually, let me put the light underneath here. See how you can see daylight? Well, light, that's a problem. Yeah. Light on it, completely dark, that's good. Light on it, completely dark, completely dark. And this is the cylinder that we had the issue with. So let's check for comparison, this one as well. Yeah, this side is great. Yeah, valves are all sealed on the bank we were worried about, but we'll have to uh, check the heads, make sure they don't need to be resurfaced. Then maybe do some reassembling. <laughs> Yep. So we have a suspicion that maybe the oil pump gears snapped on this motor because to throw two rods is pretty weird in a naturally aspirated car with 90,000 miles. So we're going to see if the oil pump gears failed and caused oiling issues and exit rod stage left. And so, stage right. <clears throat> Right here, this is how you do oil pump gears. You know, if you were gonna have a motor, you know, all together and everything else. You take the oil pickup two bolts off. It's important not to drop this bolt in the oil pan in a motor that you have in a car and you don't wanna drop the oil pan to go fish it out. But this motor, if I dropped it, it really wouldn't matter because our new motor has oil pan, oil pump, and oil pickup all connected already. So. Ah, oh, this one's the hard one. Need a small opening. wrong size. I just had, oh, is it a 10? This is what they say about quarter turns. Mm -hmm. I was wondering 
here. This would. Hold that. I guess you see how you could drop it in. Uh, yeah, this one's going to be the best. I bet, because it's already finger loose. <clears throat> All right, so I guess we'll see if oil pump failure is cause of rod explosion. We're not reusing any of this, by the way. In case anyone was gonna get mad over uh... my aggressive disassemble. Yeah. Looks in decent shape. Gears are intact. You can pull them out. Interesting. Well, I mean, that the bottom one is definitely the fat one. Is. It's normally the outside ring that's broken. Yeah. It's got a little bit of scoring. Yeah, it's still fine. Still working. Hmm. Interesting. Oil pump gear is not the cause of failure. No. Well, I don't think so. All right, so we got everything pretty much disassembled. Oil pump gears seem to be fine. So I went ahead and cleaned up and organized. Um, we got our cams here, got our timing components left and right. And uh, we got all of our accessories here with the exception of the AC, I put that somewhere else. And we got our timing cover bolts, timing cover down there, whole assembly here. We're gonna work on this tomorrow, get this out of here. Probably put the short block in place, um, connect the trans and all that stuff, and try to get the heads on. We're going to inspect those, make sure those are good. Oh, hi, Matt. Um, I just placed these over here. Uh, there wasn't really a need to take the exhaust manifolds off. That's why we left them on. Um, so we're going to inspect these, make sure everything's good with that, and get this short block here. Good to go. Put it back in the car. The only thing we forgot is head bolts. I have head gaskets, I have timing cover gaskets, I have valve cover gaskets, I have all sorts of stuff, but we forgot head bolts. So hopefully I can get those in the morning and the build will go on. All right? Right. All right, so what do they need to do? Blow this one up too. <laughs> no, hit the like button. Hit the like button. Smash the like button. Smash the like button. Hit the subscribe button and look forward to this beast running.